Nitrogen is one of the primary plant nutrients and is responsible for a significant portion of crop yield potential. Therefore, it is vital to have ample nitrogen available to crops all throughout their growth and development. One of the most important nutrients that we talk about and ones that get growers attention is nitrogen. It tends to be one of the more expensive portions of their fertility program. Crops like grasses, even your yard, take a fair amount of nitrogen. Nitrogen is one of the primary nutrients and its interactions in the soil require a lot of management to ensure that nutrient is available for crop production. Because the nitrate form of nitrogen can be leached through the soil, we need to make sure that we're watching the applications in relationship to the CEC of the soil so we know how much our soil can hold and how much we can apply in a single application. Due to the high requirement by many crops on nitrogen, we have many ways and methods to apply it, from two by two application to wide drop to foliar applications. The concern would happen to be there are limitations what you can do, where you can put it, and how much and quantity that you're gonna use. Because sandier soils have less holding capacity, nitrogen can leach through that profile. So an easy way to calculate how much nitrogen your soil can hold is you look at the CEC on your soil test and multiply that by 10 to figure out how many pounds of nitrogen can be applied in a single application. Keep in mind, most soil tests are only representing six to eight inches. The roots of a plant go much deeper than that and nitrogen is mobile. So if you wanna know the full picture of what's available to the plant in usable form, a deeper nitrate sample may be required. Your organic matter is a good source of nitrogen for your crop. Typically, a soil releases 20 to 40 pounds of nitrogen for every 1% organic matter on a soil test. Nitrogen is an important aspect of the protein development in a plant. If we're lacking nitrogen, our protein content is going to be suffering. In crops with a high demand for nitrogen, if deficiency symptoms appear, significant yield loss can occur. Because nitrogen is an essential part of the chlorophyll process, the nutrient deficiencies appear as yellowing or chlorosis. Nitrogen deficiencies start on the lower leaves of the plant to the midrib and works its way out. Over time, that deficiency will work its way up the plant. This is opposite of what potassium is. Potassium does occur on the lower parts of the plant, but that starts on the leaf margins and work their way in. Other nutrients affect nitrogen's availability. Magnesium is one of those. So as you increase the magnesium level in the soil, the soil gets tighter. When the soil gets tighter, the roots have more of a difficulty pulling the nitrogen that is available out of the soil. So therefore, our efficiency of nitrogen goes down. That's why a lot of interaction with nitrogen is important. In a lot of cases, nitrogen is actually a good vehicle to deliver other nutrients. So when we do foliar applications, because of the plant's high requirement for nitrogen, sometimes you can pull other nutrients in with it. Take, for example, sulfur. An application of sulfur with nitrogen will help increase the ability of sulfur to be taken up by the plant. That's why the understanding of a soil test and what you have available is so crucial. All crops require nitrogen. However, there are some crops like legumes that are able to fix their own nitrogen, so lower rates of fertility need to be applied. One thing to remember about nitrogen and looking at it on the soil test, that is a snapshot of that moment in time. More nitrogen may be released by organic matter, or as you get in season, it might be consumed by your crops. Our next video will cover zinc, but for more information on nitrogen, visit our website at agroliquid.com.